Jordan, Alexis, I'd like you both to turn around for a second and take a moment to look at all the people you love most in the world who have gathered from near and far to celebrate with you tonight. This is the only time this group of people will be together. Take in the beauty of this moment, this place, and this day. Alexis, over the course of the last 2,159 days together, your impact on my life has been immeasurable. From our first encounter, when I saw a picture of you and begged your friends to invite you over, to today, when we will officially become husband and wife. The best word that I have to describe the feeling is lucky. Lucky to have been introduced to you. Lucky that I had the privilege of getting to know you. Lucky that you ultimately fell in love with me too. And lucky to get to watch the most beautiful bride I've ever seen walk down the aisle toward me. When Alexis asked me to officiate the wedding, I was deeply honored and touched. As I sat and thought over the last several months about the two of them, I realized and appreciated what a special relationship the two of them really have, and how each of them is so committed as they plan to spend the rest of their lives together. Alexis has always been focused, as she always has excelled in high school, through college, and now med school. Jordan, while trying to establish and build an engineering career of his own, but always willing to support Alexis in every way making personal sacrifices and committing to relocate wherever Alexis had and will have so she has the best opportunities to advance in her career. Oh my! I can't believe how gorgeous you look. Thanks. Dear husband, finally writing those words is an indescribable feeling. Even with all of the anticipation and nerves of today, I've never felt more confident than I do right now, vowing to love you forever. Taking it back to the first time we met more than six years ago, little did I know every piece of my life had changed. Those next few weeks were a whirlwind of you constantly sweeping me off my feet in ways I never knew possible. You have the kindest heart I have ever known, and the way you were able to portray that to me so quickly, I will never get over. I still constantly relive each interaction we had and how from the very beginning, you proved I could put all of my faith and trust into you with only even knowing you for a few weeks. I knew this was special, and I knew I had to call you mine. I fell in love with you faster than we finished our favorite sitcoms. I remember desperately waiting for you to say those three words and how all I could think about was what they would sound like. Still to this day, it is my favorite sound. As I made my life plans and goals, you were always the constant. It was never a question of if you'd be a part of them, but only how I could possibly love you more one day in the future than I already did then. People always say I still look at you with such a sparkle in my eye. They've asked how I could always be so sure since day one. My answer is you make it so easy to love you, even easier than convincing you for a sushi night after a hard day of work. Seeing you walk through the door at the end of the day is the moment I look forward to most, even more than my dessert. You are my everything, Jordan Austin Nordine. Marriages will have its ups and downs, hills and valleys, but it is your respect, love, and commitment for one another that will always get you through. The three words that always come to mind as you go through the years, commitment, respect, and compromise. If you remember and apply these three simple words, nothing will come between the two of you, no matter how difficult things may seem. There's no doubt in my mind that you are the one I want to spend the rest of my days with. As your husband, I vow to strive every day to become the man that you deserve. I promise to always be your support system. I promise to be your protector and be by your side no matter what. I promise to be your own personal chef. We know what happens when you get hungry. I promise to get you that golden retriever puppy that you so desperately want. And most importantly, I vow to honor you, cherish you, and love you unconditionally for the rest of our lives. You look so handsome. Do you like it? You love it. I have never loved anything or anyone the way that I love you. Thank you for supporting every choice I make and becoming my guide when life's roads take an unexpected turn. I vow to always love you, always respect you, and to cherish every moment we spend together. 
I vow to keep that sparkle in my eye for as long as I'm lucky enough to stare into yours. I vow to always make you my priority, no matter how hectic life may get. I vow to never let you forget how lucky I feel to get to call you my husband and to be called your wife. Now, let's do this thing. Yours always, Mrs. Nordine. So Jordan has many qualities that we love about him. We're very proud of him. Um, but probably one of the most is perseverance. You know, pretty much his whole life, anytime he put his mind to something, he accomplished it. And we've always been very proud of that. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. When you send a child off to college, you, know, you really only wish for three things for him, basically. One, that they have fun. Two, that they get some kind of degree. And three, that they come home in one piece. And Jordan accomplished the first two with flying colors. But the third one, not quite so much. When he left Orlando, he didn't leave in one piece. He left in two. And to today, those two have become one. Congratulations. So what can we expect in a marriage? Ups and downs are expected, and you've got to get through them together. Every day, you need to hug each other for 30 seconds, and it just reaffirms the bond that you have and the love that you have for each other. I want you two to remember the love that you feel for each other right now for the rest of your lives. 